Okay, we gotta get six of these things. We also have to go down and get the Finger Slayer Blade for Ronnie. So, let's get the Finger Slayer Blade first. Because we're gonna be able to teleport back up to the top. Let's make our way to the creature. There it is, the new Starfall Crater. Anti gravity being blasted into the sky. Pretty cool. Yeah, with Radon dead, that is now three Remembrance holders down, 12 to go. And we're about to face another one down in Nokron. We're going to do another mad dash through this dungeon, no reason to stop and fight. There are some sketchy jumps we've got to be wary of. Like that one. You don't have to go this way. I feel like it's a bit of a shortcut if you can make the jump though. So we're getting Ronnie's last artifact, the Finger Slayer Blade. Man, I love that piano. So low and powerful. Boom! Now we must face ourself, the greatest enemy of all. Why is he using a Starlight Shard? What the fuck? It's so weird. Man, that's so precarious where it puts you. That's fucked.
Nice he's using some magic pots. Something I haven't used yet, really. Interesting strategy. Yeah, I completely forgot to use L2 to use the special abilities of my bow. We gotta try that out. This will be mighty shot. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's way stronger. Holy shit. And then on this one, this should be barrage. Oh, you can just shoot faster, I see. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to keep those in mind. That'll help my archery become even more successful. Okay, we gotta get six of these things. We also have to go down and get the Finger Slayer Blade for Ronnie. So, let's get the Finger Slayer Blade first. Because we're gonna be able to teleport back up to the top and get the rest of these. Actually, there's a couple more that I can get easily. We'll just get these right now, might as well. Whatever, fuck those guys, let's get this. Third one's here, then we'll grab the rest after we get the Finger Slayer Blade, since they're a little bit further out. Excuse me, I'm trying to use the grace over here, in private. Nice, the singing is very ethereal and beautiful in the distance. I was going to say I jumped without looking, and I missed it. Let's do it without the lantern. It's far more ethereal. Oh yeah, these things chase me. Just gonna keep moving.
Not gonna worry about those knocks or any of these mimic tears. Here's the giant. But we're just here for the Finger Slayer Blade. Excuse me, I'm trying to teleport you here. Hope you don't mind. Okay, speed. Now that we're back at the top, we can get the rest of the beacon torch brazers things. I think I know where they are. There's one back here. Should be one up here. Yeah, right over there. Good rats. Stay distracted. Nice getaway. And then the last one is in the temple over here. Get off the horse, please. Man, he wasn't getting off the fucking horse. That was such a fail, holy fuck. Still such a fail. Okay. Feeling all gone. Um, we need to go here, but I want to get a grace nearby first. Yeah, we're in the neighborhood, so I might as well come get this grace. Because we're going to need to come back here eventually. Dang, not sure if I can get back up there. get down there. I don't know if I can make that jump. We're gonna try though. We're gonna try. Sick. That was sweet. Okay, big old moose. We're gonna fight the regal ancestral spirit. Our fourth remembrance holder. This is gonna be tough just because it's going to be hard to get at him consistently. Okay, that's nice. And so far this build is way fucking thicker than I thought it was going to be. Having so much fun with this. Oh, he kicked me in the face.
Damn, yeah, uh, that's the part that sucks when he heals. But the music gets so sick. too wrapped up in the music. Such a cool attack. Mighty shot, man. Super fun. Then glad I'm getting more into the bow abilities and it feels like I'm hunting a deer. Kinda of funny. Oh man, he's still getting health back though. Okay, not as much. Oh no. Okay. Take him out there. Here we go, here we go. Oh, he went too low. Okay, nice, we got him. Just before he could heal up again. Yo, that was a super fun and different and interesting fight. Yo, this build is super fun. God damn it. I had no idea I was going to have so much fun with this. The archery, the horseback, obviously the parrying and the dagger. I knew I was going to love that part of it. But the rest is sick too. And with that we've got four remembrance holders down. Okay, now we have to return to Rani with the Finger Slayer Blade that we just acquired for her. Slumber, I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. 
fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. No, Ronnie, I want to stay. What is it? You may go. I, too, am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. We'll see about that. I'm following you. It's cool. I've done a lot of this Ronnie stuff many times, but I've never followed through and done the full quest, so it's nice to see the full context of it all now. Statuette of a scholar with ground and sky inverted reveals the hidden form of the Carrion Study Hall, which connects to the Divine Tower. To unveil the secret, affix it to the pedestal of the Celestial Globe. I was smart and I got this grace earlier, so it'll be an easy commute to the Carrion Study Hall from this valley. There's the Divine Tower. There's the bridge that connects to the Study Hall and there's the Study Hall. Alright, sweet, let's blast through this place. This place always sucks. Perceptor Miriam makes this especially difficult. Fucker. Whoa, how did Miriam get down there? That's weird. I've never seen Perceptor Miriam appear over there. That was kind of fortunate. Nice. Yeah, that made an easy passage. I was able to run right through. Normally, she snipes the hell out of me. Must change the weather, because it definitely wasn't this shitty when I came in. I would fight this thing, god skin, whatever. But we're gonna have to fight one in Volcano Manor and then two more in Crumbling Fazul, so fuck him. Hopefully he leaves me alone. Yeah, looks like we're okay. Man, it's been a long time since I've come up to one of the Divine Towers, but it's always beautiful. 
I used to love coming up to these towers in the early days doing panoramic shots when everything was so fresh and new and awesome. Now we're all jaded, just trying to run through things quickly, but it's still fucking beautiful. And this, this is Ronnie's dead body. She's now inhabiting a new body, a doll that she brought to life. She had to cast aside her flesh. There's the curse mark of her death, which is what we came here for. Rest in peace, Ronnie. You will live on in spirit. Curse mark carved into the discarded flesh of Ronnie the Witch, also known as the half wheel wound of the centipede. This curse mark was carved at the moment of death of the first demigod and should have taken the shape of a circle. However, two demigods perished at the same time, breaking the curse mark into two half wheels. Ronnie was the first of the demigods whose flesh perished, while the Prince of Death perished in soul alone. And of course, Ronnie performed this brutal rite and killed Godwin and herself. Now, we're pretty much almost ready to head to the Altus Plateau, but there might be a couple outstanding things I want to take care of first. I don't remember what I was going to do next. There's no quest logs in this game. You're supposed to keep track of everything yourself. Yeah. They were reluctant to even put a map in this game. Yeah, all the Dark Souls games, there's no maps. You have to just memorize your way through. They're hardcore, man. These are hardcore developers. They realized that it would turn too many people off if there is no map. Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 could easily fit inside this game. Poor Rajer. I've officially been playing this game for more than 800 hours. 